There's so much confusion about calcium out there. So I would love to just start to set the record straight of what is the deal with calcium? Should you have it? Should you not have it? We want to improve bone density and prevent bone loss. And so we need some calcium. But the key is we need to be getting calcium that's absorbable. If you're going to be swallowing calcium, we want it to be highly absorbable. And a lot of calcium is not highly absorbable. Like calcium carbonate is the lowest absorption. So now you're buying this supplement, you're swallowing it, but most of it's not even getting into your body, let alone to your bones. So we want to be choosing calcium like calcium malate, calcium citrate, forms of calcium that are high absorption calcium. And in that case, you don't even need as high of a dose. The standard in dietetics, you'll always hear, oh, we need to be getting postmenopausally 1,500 milligrams of calcium a day between supplements and diet. First of all, that's really hard to do. You'd have to swallow a lot of calcium to get to 1,200 to 1500 milligrams and second of all it's not necessary it's too much calcium i think and so i'm usually aiming for between 400 and 600 milligrams of calcium in a highly absorbable form of calcium along with some dietary sources of calcium in order to get a good amount of calcium and the key is again not too much and not too little